Hello. Wanted to take a few minutes to show you a few integrations we've done between the Prodium XWMS and B1 usability package. These integrations, if you will, are designed to make this WMS system a little bit easier to use, a little bit easier to access information, and uh, just streamline operations. So here's a few examples. First, we went ahead and set up um, essentially desktop shortcuts to key WMS setup screens. Normally, these screens are available through the Tools Default Forms menu, and then from within here, you can select the screen you need. We've gone ahead and made selected of these screens available within the uh, B1UP Usability Packages desk uh, dashboard. So this dashboard was set up with a panel for common functions, which we've renamed WMS Setup. And this enables us to access vari various screens, which are otherwise going to be off of the um, default forms menu. This setup was deployed using universal functions. Each one of the um, screens in question has a macro and each of the macros is a simple activate command, which gives us the ability to access that screen. And then of course, it was an easy next step to deploy these universal functions over on our uh, dashboards. The next example is the ability to launch the WMS handhelds and touch screens, again, directly from common functions on the uh, B1UP dashboards. So for example, we'll launch our WMS handheld, and um, from here on out, is, it's as if we had launched it from the menu. Going back to our universal function, we can go and take a look at how this is set up. And it's an external launcher, and it's simply fires off the uh, Windows batch file, either in this case for the external launcher, I'm, I'm sorry, in this case for the uh, handheld, another example of the handheld using a different um, uh, structure, and then finally um, launching the touch screen. And of course, this follows whatever instructions are in the batch file, which is that shortcut that launches the, um, the emulator. And of course, that's defined using um, the organizational structure. Next, we went ahead and used a SQL report under universal functions to make certain information more available on the SAP screens. So in this case, we have a goods receipt PO. And this goods receipt PO was um, received with certain environmental conditions captured at the point of the reception. So if we right click, we've added a right click menu option used called measured conditions. And the measured conditions then expose the data that was captured um, via the Prodium XWMS quality types. So here's the definition of our quality types indicating the um, capture of that information on the uh, purchase receipt. And of course, the um, the text that appears to the user. And uh, then we can also drill into our valid values to understand how all this data came to be. Again, this is glued together using a universal function with a simple query. And we define this something called WMS report initial quality, and our little query here, which of course um, is going to be the core of the data set, and then the cosmetics is indicated on the uh, column formatting wizard. The final thing we want to touch on is how we've used B1UP to enhance the functionality of container management. So this is the standard container management screen from WMS. And on this screen, you can go ahead and enter your maximum volume and weight as appropriate. 
we've enhanced this a little bit to use B1UP's templates. And so these templates are set up to let us set default data values on the screen for various types of uh, containers. In this case, we have a 40-foot container example, and we've pre-built into the template the data values we want on the screen for that particular scenario. So if we're using the container management system to help us um, to help us set up what's going to be in the in the container and to make sure we don't go over our um, boundaries on cube and weight, we can go ahead and easily do that using B1UP templates. Here's another example. In this case, we'll do the air freight. And of course, it's going to update the fields accordingly. So that's a real quick sampling of some of the things we were able to uh, do with WMS and with the usability package to kind of give us a little bit more productivity and usability in the WMS. Thank you.